We've just done our tour here in Poland in October 2013 and we've played in some fantastic places including the Lublin Cultural Centre, the Krasznik and Świdnik Cultural Centres and the Warsaw Uprising Museum. <laughs> trying to create a show that is incorporating an educational element of untold stories of World War II and I think the marriage between the visuals that Hannah projects and my music just weaves so beautifully. And it's not dry historical information, it's really emotionally done because it's done through music. She found out about the story of Wojtek and the Bear and we, got, um, we went to the Sikorsky Institute in London and got some footage from them of the Bear. So it's been amazing being able to explore like, these stories that way. We've been kindly given permission to show footage from the Royal Air Force Museum in Hendon about the Polish pilots in the Second World War and also the Warsaw Uprising Museum. We'd like to say thank you to everybody who came. We had combatants, we had veterans of the Second World War, we had young children, we had people of, of all ages attending. <laughs> <laughs> Going into words, and you think you can keep me from him? Going into words. And we also had some fantastic interviews with the Polish media. We had Świdnik Radio, we had TV Polonia, TV One. Polsat News. I've also been on Jedinka Radio, which was really fun. So it's been an amazing uh, tour with regards to the media interest that has been connected with it. Dambusters is a very good film when we blow up the Germans. <laughs> so I, I enjoyed that very much. I, I think uh, Polish people would love it too. Excellent. Well, For well, the same well. reason, this is why we love the Poles. <laughs> I love it a lot because of the interaction, uh, artists and the audience. And I love that it was about Polish history. I think it's so great that there's someone in Great Britain who's sharing Polish history through music and through art, through the documentary that she made. I'm a journalist from a Polish public TV and the documentary maker as well. I would like to thank you for uh, your concert, for the atmosphere. Actually, we should know a lot of things about our history. And you are a kind of guide. My great-grandfather was an engineer uh, during the war and he helped to develop the engine, the Rolls-Royce engine, for the Spitfire. So where I come from in Birmingham, we built the Spitfire. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I dreamt of you at Red Rose When I knew I couldn't find my way back home I dreamt of you at Red Rose When I knew I couldn't find my way back home Oh, past those German soldiers, oh, past those Russian soldiers. I just feel uh, Kate's voice because mm -hmm. uh, she's so sensitive and uh, I can feel the emotions in her voice. The Red Rose, she wanted to commemorate those who were sent to Siberia. And I can personally connect to that because my grandfather was sent to Siberia. So um, that had a deep meaning for me. When I knew I couldn't find my way back home Irena, thank you so much for having us to play at your beautiful 
centre. Could you tell us a little bit about the centre that we're standing in today? I work at the centre of the centre of culture, but it's a long time. It's a big cluster. Tu się bardzo wiele różnych rzeczy dzieje. Ale najwspanialszym wieczorem chyba był dzisiejszy. Ja tak to czuję i nie jestem sama w tym odczuwaniu. Wszyscy to potwierdzają, że ten dzisiejszy wieczór był wyjątkowy, był szczególny. Tu się działo coś więcej niż tylko muzyka. Ja źle powiedziałam, kiedy Ciebie przedstawiałam, że wokalistka. To jest większe słowo. Tobie się należy. Należy Ci się słowo artystka, wielka artystka, bo nie tylko wokalistka, ale byłaś wspaniałym medium, które zaczarowało ludzi swoim tekstem, swoimi dialogami, swoją muzyką, którą Ty także wykonywałaś. I to był naprawdę wspaniały, wspaniały wieczór. Byli na tym wieczorze obecni ludzie w podeszłym wieku, bardzo podeszłym wieku i bardzo młodzi. Przekrój wiekowy był wyjątkowy, niespotykany. Takie rzeczy zdarzają się bardzo rzadko. Ja nie pamiętam, kiedy coś takiego wydarzyło się w naszym Centrum Kultury w czasie moich 18 lat pracy. Ja Tobie ogromnie, Katie, dziękuję. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much and I will be waiting for your next program, next... Twitter uh, and uh, and next visit. I think Katie's concert was really amazing. I think you have done a great job with the casual and the manners. And I must say that thanks to Katie, I read the story about the woman from the Marvel and the Flower Song. I found out about her tragic but uh, at the same time amazing life. And Katie inspired me to. People like Kajik and uh, another national heroes. I think that what you do is really important because you actually make a Polish history uh, closer to people who uh, may not uh, know history, even though uh, even though they are Polish. <laughs> It was one of the best concerts which I have ever uh, seen and I think that Katie has done the best for Poland and for her history. It was a great concert, great performance, especially Katie's voice, and also it was very emotional, especially for, I, I think for us Poles. And I know she has Polish origins, but being so British, she has you know the feelings for Poland and for the history and the, the fact that she's learning Polish and learning Polish, Polish history is I think very moving for us. And the way she was singing Polish songs, and you could see like, she was passionate about it. It just all together it just made it look amazing. Um, I'm just really touched and I think it was an amazing concert. Thank you very much to everybody in Poland who came to support our shows and help share the wonderful untold stories of Polish heritage that we're so passionate about and we really do hope that we get a chance to come and see you very very soon and we will be sharing our show throughout the world and we're going to be visiting all sorts of different countries because there's so many Polish people living all over the world and that's Polonia and we look forward to seeing you soon.